I'm Marcia Chan, the pronunciation doctor. Today, this lesson is to help you practice the sound mmm at the beginning, in the middle, and especially at the end of a word. To produce the sound mmm, as in some, press your lips together tightly and make a humming voiced sound. Feel the vibration from your vocal cords in the throat through the nose. Mm. Feel the vibration in your face mm. and especially in your lips. Mm. If you have the book phrase by phrase, you may refer to chapter 6, page 57. First, I'll say single words. My, my. Made, made. More, more. Minute, minute. Women, women. Commercial, commercial. Chemistry, chemistry. Employment, employment. Seam, seam. Swim, swim. Aim, aim. Time, time, some, some, room, room, home, home, Pam, Pam. Now let's try some short sentences. Some means amount, talking about two different words, putting them in the sentence. Some, S-U-M. Some means amount or total. How do we make the question? We say, what does some mean? What does some mean? What does some mean? Some means amount. Some means amount. Some is the same as amount. Some is the same as amount. Try to link the words together. Some is the same as amount. Now a little bit faster. Some is the same as amount. Let's try another one. A good day to swim. It seems to be a good day to swim. It seems to be a good day to swim. Pam thinks it's 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 a good day to swim. It seems to be a good day for Pam to swim. It seems to be a good day for Pam to swim. It seems to be a good day for Pam to swim. It seems to be a great day for Pam to swim. Pam aims to swim this afternoon. 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 Katie is the same age as Aiden. 
Katie is the same age as Aiden. To link the words together, feel the vibration in the lips. Continue from the vowel in one word through the M, through the vowel of the second word. So instead of saying the same age, say the same age. Take that M and move it over to the next word. The same age, the same age, the same age. Be sure to keep the back of your tongue down because if you close it, it changes the sound. Don't let it close the air passage at the back of the throat to make the sound ng, the sing, the sing, the sing. If I say the sing, I'm closing back here, it makes a different sound. It goes through the nose, but I'm not letting the sound go through the mouth. So I want the sound to go all the way to the lips. The same age, not the same age. So I can close the back of my throat or the tongue, and then also close the lips together, but it sounds different. Same mage. Keep this one open, the same mage. So don't close the air passage at the back of the throat. You also have to be careful to keep the front of your tongue down. Don't let the tip of the blade, the, or the tip, either the tip or the blade, touch anywhere in the roof of the mouth or in the, you know, what we call the gum ridge. Otherwise you make it sound like n, 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 like now, uh, and n, n, n. So if you put say nage n, here, then you have a different sound. So keep the tongue down, say all the way down. And the voice goes all the way through from the vocal cords or actually from the <sighs> lungs vibrating the vocal cords through the cavity of the mouth and then closing the lips. The same age, the same age, the same age, the same age. The same event, the same event, the same event, the same event. We went to the same event. The same afternoon, the same afternoon, it happened. The same afternoon, the same afternoon. They came the same afternoon. The same evening, the same evening, the same evening, the same evening. They came the same evening. The same interests, the same interests. She and I have the same interests. The same in, the same in, the same interests, the same interests, the same interests. The same hour, the same hour. The train arrives, the tr two trains arrive at the same hour, the same hour, the same hour. So notice this word doesn't start with a vowel letter. It starts with a letter H, but the H is silent. We don't pronounce it, it's mute. So the first vowel sound is the vowel ah. So if we take away the H letter, we have the same hour, the same hour, the same hour. So usually the vowel starts with an A-E-I-O or U, but sometimes it starts with the silent H, as in this case, the same hour, come at the same hour. The same origin, origin meaning the place where something starts. So we can say these two people have the same origin, or these two words have the same origin, because you know words, vocabulary, they also have a long history. So we can say these two words have the same origin. These two people have the same origin, or ideas, the same origin, the same mo, the same more, the same more, the same origin, the same origin. Elevator, the same elevator the same elevator, the same elevator. Let's take the same elevator. They took the same elevator. Eyes, do you look like your mom or your dad? The same eyes, the same eyes, the same eyes. Maybe you have the same eyes as your mother. Maybe you have the same eyes as your brother, the same eyes. All right, so let me say one of the words and then you say the same 
plus that word. So if I say age, you say the same age. Linking the two, may over the two words together. I say age, you say the same age. I say event, you say the same event. I say afternoon, you say the same afternoon. I say evening, you say the same evening. I say interests, you say the same interests. I say hour, you say the same hour. I say origin, you say the same origin. I say elevator, you say the same elevator. I say eyes, you say the same eyes. All right. Are you ready for some longer sentences? Let's try these. Let's say, hmm, I say opportunity. You say the same opportunity. The same ah, uh, the same ah, uh, the same opper, the same opper, the same opper too. The same opper to, the same opportunity, the same opportunity, the same opportunity, the same opportunity. Jack has the same opportunity as his friend Tom to go to the show. I said that sentence, which is kind of long, in three phrases. So you remember, we also want to work on speaking phrase by phrase, not word by word. And in each phrase, which is kind of bordered by a short pause, we want to link the words together and have one word that is particularly stressed more than the others. Maybe two, but not all of them. And we have to balance it so we have the nice rhythm. So let's try that again. Jack has the same opportunity as his friend Tom to go to the show. And the whole sentence, Jack has the same opportunity as his friend Tom to go to the show. Here's another sentence. Lisa and I have Zumba class on the same afternoon. So Zumba is a kind of exercise where you dance and do a lot of cardio exercise at the same time. Zumba class. Same afternoon. Same ah, same ah, same after, same after. Same afternoon, same afternoon. Lisa and I have Zumba class on the same afternoon. Lisa and I have Zumba class on the same afternoon. Also, another way to show this comparison, Lisa has Zumba class on the same afternoon as I do. So, Lisa and I. Making a comparison with a different grammatical structure. Let's try that one. Also with three phrases. Lisa has Zumba class on the same afternoon as I do. Lisa has Zumba class on the same afternoon as I do. All right, let's try another sentence. Same interests. Same in, same in, same in, same interests, same interests, same interests. I have the same interests as my mother. 
I have the same interests as my mother. I have the same interests as my mother. All right, how can we say that in another way? Will we put both I and mother in the subject at the beginning? Do we say I and my mother or my mother and I? In English, we always put I after everybody else. So we say my mother and I, my mother and father and I, my sisters and I, my sisters and brothers and I. So in English, we put the word I last. So we say my mother and I have the same interests. Have the same interests. My mother and I have the same interests. My mother and I have the same interests. All right, let's try another sentence. I grew up in the same environment as my brother. Do you hear those three, phrase, three phrases there? I have the same, sorry, I grew up in the same environment as my brother. Let's try to say the, say the word environment, 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 environment. Same environment. Link the m to m men. Same men. Same men. Same men vi. Same men vi. Same men vi. Same environment. Same environ. Same environ. Same environment. The same environment. I grew up. Notice the is also a bilabial sound. The two lips, bi, labial, two lips need to press together. I grew up, right? And when we lick, we can say, I grew up in, I grew up in the same environment. So it's possible to make those two phrases all one phrase, but let's just practice with them being separate for the time being. I grew up in the same environment as my brother. I grew up in the same environment as my brother. I grew up in the same environment as my brother. Now, how can you make a sentence like that with I and my brother in the same sentence, in the same verb as a compound verb at the beginning of one sentence? Do we say I and my brother or my brother and I? My brother and I. So we say, my brother and I grew up in the same environment. My brother and I grew up in the same environment. My brother and I grew up in the same environment. Remember, same environment. Make sure that you get the mm, mm, same men. Feel that vibration through your throat, through your face, through your nose, including the lips. Same men, and link it over, same men, the same environment. My brother and I grew up in the same environment. All right, let's go on to another sentence. Mike has the same eating habits as his friend. So let's look at this eating habits, eating habits. This is a compound noun. Let's have the stress on the first sentence, the first word, eating habits, and then let's link from same me, same me, same eating, same eating, same eating habits, same eating habits. Mike has the same eating habits as his friend. Mike has the same eating habits as his friend. Mike has the same eating habits as his friend. That's easier than the previous sentence, right? Shorter. Let's try another one. Also not too long. It's about eggs. Eggs. Now say the word eggs, but put the word the same in front of it. How does it sound? It sounds like this. The same eggs. The same eggs. The same eggs. The same eggs. I buy the same eggs as my coworker. My co my coworker buys this type, I buy the same type. So I buy the same eggs as my coworker. 
I buy the same eggs as my coworker. Maybe we shop in the same place or the same market or we buy them from the same farmer. Notice how I pronounce co-worker. Co-worker, three syllables, la la la, with the stress on the first syllable, three one, la la la, co-worker, my co-worker. I buy the same eggs as my co-worker. Can you make a sentence that begins with co-worker? The one that has the same meaning as I buy the same eggs as my co-worker. You would start with it. my co-worker by z. Remember to put s at the end, which sounds like z, sounds like z voice sound, because by is voiced, i is voiced, so z is also voiced. My coworker buys, my coworker buys the same eggs as I do. You'll hear people say as me, and nobody will misunderstand you, but if you want to follow the grammar of subject, I buy eggs and my coworker buys eggs, then it's more grammatically correct to say as I. You can say as I, period, or as I do, period. So the do is the auxiliary verb for simple present tense, buy. I do, she does, so I buy the same eggs as my coworker does. So in the first sentence I said, I buy the same eggs as my coworker. I could also say, I buy the same eggs as my coworker does. All right, so does replaces the verb buys. If I say my coworker buys the same eggs as I do, it means my coworker buys the same eggs as I buy. So that's our auxiliary, and the auxiliary there is optional. But same eggs, same eggs, same eggs. We still want to have the linking of m from same over to e of eggs, same eggs. All right, let's talk about the word apple. Put the word apple in the phrase with same, the same. What do you say? The same apple, the same app, the same app, the same apple. So again, we have two bilabial sounds, one mm in same and one in apple, apple. So this one is uh, same apple. Lips comes together for, lips come together for both of those sounds. The same apple. All right, suppose we have an apple and we cut it into pieces and I give some to my daughter and I say, my daughter and I, my daughter and I are eating pieces of the same apple. My daughter and I are eating pieces of the same apple. How many phrases did you hear me say? Three? That's right. Okay, my daughter and I, that's one, are eating pieces, that's another, of the same apple. Let's try that. My daughter and I are eating pieces of the same apple. Put it all together. My daughter and I are eating pieces of the same apple. We could also say, my daughter is eating part of the same apple as I am. So I'm using the word part of instead of saying a piece of, right? So we can say part of or a piece of. Let's use part of here. My daughter is eating part of, part of what? Part of the same apple as I am. Notice I use the word am here. This is the verb be because I use the present progressive or present continuous verb, my daughter is eating. So that means is eating and I am eating. Okay, so we said in the beginning, my daughter and I are eating, it's present progressive. So here we're keeping the same present progressive and it requires using the be auxiliary. So my daughter is eating part of the same apple as I am. My daughter is eating the same, sorry. My daughter is eating part of the same apple as I am. And I can make the sentence starting with I. I am eating part of the same apple as my daughter is. As my daughter, period. Or as my daughter is, period. The is is optional. I am eating part of the same apple as my daughter. All right, let's go on to another sentence. Hmm, 
ideas. Put the word same, the same, together with the word ideas. Same ideas, the same ideas, the same ideas. Okay, I sometimes have the same ideas as my husband. I sometimes have the same ideas as my husband does. Remember the word does is the auxiliary. It's optional. Either way, both of these are set, uh, sentences are correct. I sometimes have the same ideas as my husband does. Same ideas, same my, same ideas. Ideas has three syllables. I, D, us, ideas, the same ideas. I sometimes have the same ideas as my husband does. And what else? My husband. My husband sometimes has the same ideas as I do. My husband sometimes has the same ideas as I do. How are you doing on saying sometimes? Try to say it sometimes, not sometimes, but sometimes. Keep the throat open. So don't say a song, say some. Not tang, but times. Sometimes. Be aware of the vibration in your vocal cords. Also try to be aware of how open your oral cavity, your mouth is. That means your tongue has to be down so the air can travel and vibrate through the oral cavity until you close your lips. Some, not some, some times, some. Feel that, feel that openness in the back of your throat so all the air comes through and vibrates here all the way to the lips. Some times. Same ideas. I sometimes have the same ideas as my husband does. And my husband sometimes has the same ideas as I do. My husband sometimes has the same as I do. Oh, same ideas as I do. And if I want to put these two sentences together in a different way, or not two sentences, I mean the same idea, but use another grammatical construction and put um, I and my husband at the beginning in a compound subject, how would I make the sentence? We would say, my husband and I sometimes have the same ideas. My husband and I sometimes have the same ideas. My husband and I sometimes have the same ideas. All right, let's do one more before we close, and that is about eyes. What do we say? Use the word same, the same. Same eyes, the same eyes, the same eyes. I have the same eyes as my father does. I have the same eyes as my father. I have the same eyes as my father does. Notice that when I use the auxiliary at the end, it always has to be shorter and lower and weaker than father. So be careful. Don't say, I have the same eyes as my father does. Don't stress the auxiliary. In fact, stress father and then does. So if you use that word, it has to be low tone, high tone, low tone. Father does. I have the same eyes as my father does. I have the same eyes as my father. How about if it's not my father but my brother? Let's say my brother. I have the same eyes as my brother. I have the same eyes as my brother does. Now, can you make a sentence that starts with brother, my brother, my brother, has the same eyes as I do. 
not as I do, but as I do. So notice the difference in tone, the pitch, as I do. Right, so you want to make the auxiliary short and low. My brother has the same eyes, same eyes, link that together. My brother has the same eyes as I do. My brother has the same eyes as I do. My brother has the same eyes as I. Ooh, those two words sound the same. Yes, they are homophones. Homophones are words that have the same sound. Homophones. I and I, right? So my brother has the same eyes as I do. I prefer to add the word do because then it's clear. We don't get mixed up between the two types of words that have the sound I. And if we make a sentence with a compound subject, I and my brother, in the same sentence, how do we say it? My brother and I have the same eyes. My brother and I have the same eyes. Okay, I'm gonna leave you here with this video and hope that you can practice more and more with the mmm sound, not only at the beginning, but also in the middle, and especially at the end of words. But of course, as you know, words need to be linked together in phrases so they sound smooth, and that you need to put the stress in the right place in each phrase linking together with nice stress, rhythm, and intonation. See you next lesson.